Hello everyone, Joe Lovery here from Below Par and welcome back to the channel. In today's video then, I'm gonna show you how to clean your golf clubs. Now this is a video we've been meaning to do for a while, I haven't really got round to it. Now you probably noticed today I'm wearing a hoodie, very ungolf like and I'm inside, I'm actually in the kitchen. Now the reason why I'm inside is Storm Alex has hit the UK today and it's pretty terrible outside. It's just been non-stop rain. I was gonna film this maybe outside, but actually it's pointless. And in fairness, we all tend to clean our golf clubs indoors anyway, so it's kind of worked in my favour. The clubs, I have to admit, are a little bit dirty. I was out playing in a playing lesson the other day and noticed I hadn't cleaned them very well from when after my practice session. Equally, there's a lot of rubbish in my golf bag, which I know if you've watched the How to Set Me Golf Bag video, you'll notice I'm not a big fan of that. So guys, before I get into the video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We do really appreciate it. It helps, us, helps support us and helps keep us motivated as well to keep bringing you lots of content. So then, essentials that we need in order to clean our golf clubs. So I'm obviously by the sink, we're gonna need some water. I've got some fairy liquid, only need just a little bit of this, just a dash or so. Got a cleaning brush, it's the same one I use on my golf bag. A couple of teas and a towel. Now, what I would recommend with the towel, this is one that I'm just about to go and throw in the wash after this. If the towel starts to get wet, do then start to use a dry towel as well. well go through that later on, but don't basically want the clubs to retain too much moisture on the face. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put a little bit of fairy liquid in the bowl, I'm gonna make it warm, I'm just gonna fill the sink up and I'm gonna put my clubs straight in. Let's get going. This is my wedge I use a lot for teaching. Now you notice obviously it gets quite rusty, but equally, I don't do a very good job afterwards of wiping off. I tend to just throw it straight back in my car. So the grooves are full of muck, it's muck all over the face. Let's pop this in. I'm going to pop some other clubs in as well. You also notice for me, the grips now are starting to look a bit shiny and a bit slick. We can get these to come back to life, so we will do that as well. So then here we go. I'm just letting them soak just for a few seconds or so, and I'm just going to start taking your club out. Let's chat about the benefits then, first off, of cleaning your clubs. What you stop, which again, if I grab that 54 degree, is rusting on the face. So we're going to take the water off. So if you were doing this after each round, you would allow then the clubs to dry so you wouldn't get the rusting. We can start to save ourselves some money by bringing the grips back to life. So if we clean these well enough, they should start to come back to life. Now obviously there is a limit to that. This one is starting to get wear patches, yes, but I will be able to bring back some of the, the sort of stickiness or tackiness of the grip as well. Let's get scrubbing. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dip my brush in the water, get it nice and wet. I'm just going to start with the hard bristle, the more coarse side and just run it across the face. Now I see a lot of people going up and down. I personally quite like to sort of go with the groove. So I'm just gonna keep wetting it, keep going over the grooves, taking all the stuff off the face. A nice little trick for you, if the clubs are starting to rust quite a lot, you can run a separate bucket and put some coke in there. I haven't on this occasion, because I don't mind this wedge rusting too much. And then we're just gonna run it across the bottom as well. And what we do then, other side, just give it a rub off. Now the most important aspect now, once the club is clean, I'm just gonna run a T-peg through the grooves just to make sure every last bit of dirt is out. It'd be amazing sometimes how much is left in. Like so. There we go. And now the key thing now, quick rinse off, make sure to get all the areas. And all we need to do now is just make sure that when we're drying this, the face is completely dry. Any moisture left on that club face will cause it to rust. So it's really worth giving it a decent dry all the way across. And there we go. So you can see the difference already. And then what we're gonna do in a second is the grips. But I'm gonna start by doing all the heads. I'm gonna get all the heads nice and clean, which I'll do now. And then we'll keep going then onto the grips. go then for many people that would be it so if you've only got a spare five minutes or so just to clean your clubs up that is done now if we've got a little bit more time i'd recommend then just if you wet a towel and run it up and down the shaft just to make sure the shafts are nice and clean but we need to do the grips so the grips on my irons now are looking a little bit ragged if i show you this one for example i believe this would be a seven yeah Tend to do a lot of my practicing with the seven. You can see there the grip now has got pretty grimy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some fairy liquid on a brush. 
I'm gonna use the soft bristles and I'm gonna work the fairy liquid into it and then I'm just gonna rinse it off and we'll see how that comes up. So I'm just gonna put fairy liquid just straight into the brush. Only just a little dribble, just don't need anything excessive. And from there, I'm just gonna wet the grip ever so slightly to begin with, just so it becomes a little bit responsive to it. And I'll just make it wet. All I'm gonna do now is just gently work the brush into the grip. If you saw what this one was like before, I'm not pushing too hard here. I don't want to ruin the grip, but equally, that's a proper soft brush on that end. I'm just going to scrub it in, like so. Comes up nice and foamy, that's always a good sign. Now, certainly on these, you probably notice I'm spending more time on the white part of the grip. Obviously, it shows up the dirt a little bit more. So just making sure I'm working around the areas my thumbs would sit, less so around the back. There we go, let's have a look and see if I rinse that off. That's made a bit of a difference, which is pretty good. Marginally in there. I'll tell you what, that's pretty good. So, if you imagine a before and after on that one, it's dripping. You can see actually that looks pretty good compared to what it did before. Just now I need to dry that. I'm gonna get a fresh towel on what I used on the heads. I'm gonna go through now and do all the grips in the same way. So this is quite cool. So if I show you a wedge that I use quite often, so that's the colour of the grip there. Now a 7 iron, I'd say I practice with more. Look at the difference in the colour of the grip. You'll see the thumbprints there on each. So they're definitely starting to get junior grips. However, well they are definitely junior grips. You can see the difference in the colour. So this again, so just to show you guys, that's the difference there between a grip that's been cleaned and not cleaned. Now don't get me wrong, yes, I'm due new grips, but look at the difference in the colour there. So this is the 7 iron on the left are just cleaned, and then my pitching wedge on the right, and that is just some fairy liquid and a brush. There we go, and that's the irons all done. So you can see how much better and how much whiter all the grips look. And certainly now it's harder to tell which one with coaching wedges. I and mean, it's still a little bit obvious. It's obviously a bit more warm, but actually it's a lot better. And the heads are all clean. Now you probably notice I haven't put them back in the bag yet, which is there, and we've still got the woods to do. Now the reason is, these are now gonna go resting against a radiator. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, there for that long. I just want to dry the grips out the best I can and almost as quickly as possible. So like if you play golf in the wet, what would you then do? You go and put your clubs in the airing cupboard or something along those lines, somewhere warm. So I'm gonna go and wrestle against the radiator now and then we'll get into the woods. So woods then, I like to do these a little bit separate. Now the main reason is I just find I don't want these getting bashed around. I keep the head covers on them at all times. So I'm just gonna be a little bit more careful with these. Now I don't tend to soak them too much in water either. I just try to get the face a bit wet. So I'm gonna just use the brush rather than putting this under it. You can see it's already pretty clean. What I'm gonna do is just a little bit of water running through the tap. Light with the brush, I've still got some fairy liquid on there. I'm just going to very lightly rub the face and underneath. I'm just going to get any dirt out of the logo, off the back, and it's just a very light covering on the head. In terms of the carbon, I personally don't like scratching that at all. I'm very careful when on the white as well because obviously I don't want to mark my club. Just a very light bit of water again. Very quickly wash it off. Make sure there's no residue on there. And then I'm going to use the same towel I used earlier, just one little club towel. And then I am just wiping away any excess moisture nice and quick. Now in terms of the grips on this, yes, I can do the grip. I'll probably do the grip later. But the key thing is the head now is nice and clean. Head cover back on. And personally for me, straight back in the bag. Don't want these sat next to the radiator. Don't want it to get dinged by a door. Any of that sort of stuff. Make sure it's nice and dry. As soon as I'm happy, head cover on, straight back in the bag. So the driver, as you imagine, very much the same story, just lightly on the face lightly across the bottom, just getting rid of any dirt, any excess that might have got in the head. Certainly the driver, you get a few more sort of grooves on there as well. In the bottom, just lightly rinse off, like so. Just being sure to get everywhere. Not quite, got the full logo out. Can be as OCD as non-OCD as you like with this. There we go, as easy as that. Same thing, towel, wipe, and exactly the same with the putter as well. So I don't need to show you that, but exactly the same thing. 
So that is pretty much it. That's the entire process. So I've cleaned the clubs, I've done the heads, I've wiped the shafts down with a towel, I've done all the grips. The grips are currently drying now against the radiator. I've done my woods, I've done my putter, so everything is ready to go. I've left my putter grip alone. I've just got a thin red Scotty Cameron grip. In fairness, it's pretty clean, so I'm not needing to do it. Uh, I'm gonna clean my practice balls and things now. I won't film that, it's not overly interesting. But that is essentially how to clean your golf clubs. So I hope you have really enjoyed this video. It was quite good fun to make. Obviously I get some clean clubs off the back of it, which is fab, and I would have been doing it anyway. So hopefully you found it useful. If you've got any questions below, do let me know. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it if you did so. Hope to see you all very soon. Thanks.